Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video today. We're proud to announce that LaunchBox 11.8 has been released. And like with all new LaunchBox and Big Box releases, there's some fixes, improvements, and some new features. In this video, we're going to go over some of the more notable changes, and like always, I will leave a link to the change log so you can go ahead and read through everything that's been fixed, improved, and added. First on the list, the Epic Games importer was occasionally not finding all of the user's games, and I personally ran into this problem with 11.7, but this has all been fixed with version 11.8, so if you go ahead and try to re-import your Epic Games collection, it should find all of the games you own with Epic Games. With the last release, drag and drop functionality wasn't working when you were inside of LaunchBox at the add and edit platform window, but now that's all been fixed up in 11.8. The next fix here has to do with another game client, Uplay Import. Now it wasn't working correctly in 11.7 because Ubisoft made some changes to the Ubisoft Connect, but this is all fixed in 11.8, so you should now be able to import all of your Uplay games very easily from within LaunchBox. Let's go ahead and move up to the improvements. There's now a new option to hide the search option from the big box system menu while big box is locked. So if you're one of those people who have, let's say, an arcade cabinet or you just leave big box running all the time locked, you can enable this option and there's no way for anybody else to get to that search bar unless you unlock big box. Moving up in the improvements, manuals and documents that have been added as additional apps will now be automatically recognized and dealt with properly in the delete platform, edit platform, bulk edit platforms, and clean up media processes. So this way, it's not going to automatically leave those manuals and documents on your system if for some reason you needed to go through and delete some games or a whole platform by itself. All of those documents and manuals that have been added as additional apps for that certain platform will now be cleaned up properly. So that's going to do it for the fixes and improvements for this video, but the changelog is in the description in case you want to go check it out. Now it's time to move to the new features. So the first one here, Steam achievements are now available inside of both LaunchBox and BigBox, and I'm going to show you how to get to them. It's really easy to do. We're going to move over to LaunchBox now. So from within LaunchBox, I have my Steam game set up under Windows. So we're going to head over to Windows, and I just have my Steam imported into this section here. If I was to import my Uplay or Epic, it would also be added to the Windows section because that's where I have my platform set up for PC games. But all of these here are my Steam games, and I'm just going to go ahead and choose GTA 5. Over on the right-hand side here, we have our games detail. We got all the information we need. We got our rating. And if we scroll all the way down, we can actually see the new option for Steam Achievements. So here we are. These are the achievements that are available for GTA 5. Welcome to Los Santos. We can scroll all the way down. And if we just want to click on one of these, it's going to open up a browser and it's going to bring us over to the Steam Community page. And here, these are my achievements for GTA 5. There's 77 achievements. I have 12 of them completed here. 16% of all my achievements are completed for this game and we can just get a little walkthrough on the achievements, what we need to do to finish them, and what percentage of that achievement we already have completed. And remember, this is also available in Big Box. I'm gonna go ahead and swap over there right now. So here we are in Big Box. I'm under my Windows game section, and these are all of my Steam games. I'm gonna go with Doom Eternal. And as you can see, we have a View Achievements tab. So we'll go in here. We can see all of our achievements, but if we move over to Steam Details, you can see we can go through the achievements from here and see what we need to complete. So yeah, that's a pretty cool little option. It's available in LaunchBox and Big Box, and that's a really nice little feature if you're into the Steam achievements. If you want to get every achievement done, this is a great way to easily see what needs to be done next. So the final new feature for LaunchBox 11.8 just happens to be one of my favorites. I love this little idea here. A RetroArch Netplay Lobby Browser has now been implemented in LaunchBox and Big Box. So we're in LaunchBox right now, we're going to go to Tools, and we're going to find RetroArch Netplay. If you're not familiar with RetroArch Netplay, basically this allows you to play with people online as long as you're using the same exact game. I've set up my nickname up here, and these are the sessions that are going on right now. So we have the nickname of the person who's hosting the game, the game itself, the RetroArch core being used, the version of RetroArch, the operating system they're using right now, if it's public, and when it was created. This is gonna make it really easy to join up with other people around the world to play your favorite retro games. Now, you do have to be using the same exact core and you will have to have the same exact game. So as you can see here, 
If I wanted to play Clock Tower with this anonymous person here, I would need the English version 1.01. .01. If, let's say, there is a 0 0.99, it's not going to work. It has to be the same exact version. There's kind of a lot that goes in with RetroArch Netplay, but when it's working, it works absolutely amazing. As you can see over here, they're on Windows. This person is using Android, and this person is actually using Recall Box, and this person down here, oddly enough, is using a PS3. We also have this little refresh button at the bottom here so we can refresh the server to see who's playing or see who's online at the time. Now, I will admit that RetroArch and Netplay can be a bit tricky for some people. Personally, the way that I use RetroArch and Netplay is with somebody I already know. That way we can kind of collaborate, we can touch base and see what core we're going to be using, what exact game we're going to be using, and really what we want to play. Now, you could go through here and get lucky and just find some random person. You have the same exact game, you're using the same core, but for most of this stuff, I'm not matched up with most of these people here. Actually, I don't think I'm matched up with any of these people here. So if I wanted to play Bomberman 2 with this default lobby here, I would have to have S-E-E-U-M-M, -M, and personally, I don't use that core there. They're on RetroArch 1.81, and if I go to Join Game, it's going to tell me that I don't have the correct core. Same thing if I want to spectate that game. So like I said, I think the best way to use Netplay is with somebody you already know. That way you can get together and figure out exactly what you're going to run with the exact same core and the exact same game. Now, if you want to go ahead and host your own, you can always do that really easily. If I wanted to host Bloody Roar 2, I'm just going to right click. I'm using PC SX Rearm for this. RetroArch Netplay. Host a game. I've got my name up here and I can start the game. Now I've just kind of exited RetroArch without shutting it completely down and you can see that I'm up here on the board right now. I have a lobby going. I'm running Bloody Roar 2, the USA version with PC SX Rearm R22, RetroArch 1.90 and I'm using Windows. So if somebody wanted to join up with me, they need the same game and the same core. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. We really hope you enjoy LaunchBox 11.8. Got a lot of fixes, improvements, and some pretty cool new features. If you just want to read through the change log, link for that is in the description. We really appreciate you watching, and if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.